I was a full-time teacher and administrator at a private prep. Uh, that's what I did before I was gardening um, full-time. Uh, before that? And before that, I was traveling the world uh, studying love and attempting to study what peace meant. Um, and I went and I spoke to as many spiritual leaders uh, as I could, any who would talk to me. I, I went and I spoke with uh, any people, really, priestesses and um, medicine men, any spiritual people I possibly could. And our talks were always centered around love. Um, I am of the belief, right, that love is like darkness. It is literally everywhere. It is everywhere. And a lot of people are like, well, darkness doesn't exist. Darkness is simply the absence of light. Well, there is an argument there by darkness having a name and giving it a title by us attempting to grasp it as a concept. We've created some understanding of this idea of darkness. But the fact is, even right now, darkness is here. It's everywhere, right? But the reason you can't see the darkness except for the shadow is because of the light. Now, in parallel, and this is hard for some people because a lot of people don't like this parallel, but in parallel, if you think about love being like darkness, love is everywhere. It's everywhere. It's, all, it's there all the time. We have the opportunity to seize love and use it as an opportunity to grow all the time. But you can't see love when you have fear. So if you think about how a spark of light in the midst of darkness carries on for miles, the same is to be said about fear. A spark of fear will carry on for miles, despite how much love is standing right there. And so I found myself fascinated that we live in a world desperate for love, yet we chase our fears. It's interesting to think about it, right? Uh, there is this really interesting correlation between love and fear and the idea of loss, okay? So a lot of us chase love and we chase love out of the fear of being alone. And when we're doing that, we're actually casting a shadow over the love we desire, which is actually pushing it further away from us, not bringing it to us. We really shouldn't chase anything. To chase anything is to ask the thing we're chasing to run. And if that thing is very fast, which most things are because of nature, uh, we're going to exhaust ourselves in the chase. And if it's not fast enough, then chances are we didn't want it because you, you think about how relationships work. We would like things to work together, to coexist. And that is why we attempt to find equals so that we may make union and create something even more powerful.